tragedy on the sound. Police tell me a 68-year-old man floating down the water with a friend drowned here at Titlow Beach Park Tuesday night. A few hours later and a few miles north, Renton police responded to a similar case. The dive teams found the body of a 26-year-old man in the waters of Jean Coulon Memorial Beach Park. Temperatures of Puget Sound usually stay between 52 and 54 degrees. Hypothermia can set in in as little as 15 minutes. Detective William Muse with the Tacoma uh, Police Department says, I just... no matter how strong of a swimmer you are, always be smart while on the waters of Washington. The people spend time in the water in non-U.S. Coast Guard approved personal flotation devices. The type of flotation device that works well in the pool, water wings or a little float raft is not going to be good for open water. This dangerous heat creates concerns off of the water as well. There's a lot of homes. I was at one yesterday and I believe it was in the morning, somewhere in the ballpark of like 9 or 10 in the morning and their house was already 92 degrees inside. So, I mean, as far as a livability standpoint, it's definitely rough. Officials with the Public Health Department in King County and Seattle tell me over the four-day 4th of July holiday weekend, 36 people went to the emergency department for heat-related illness. In comparison, there were about 10 incidents the week before. We have been getting a lot of people needing or wanting air conditioning either. Zane Hood with Heart Services tells me their phones are ringing off the hook from people looking for relief. Unfortunately, calling this late in the game might not bring cooling comfort until the next heat wave. The quickest that you can get it, uh, I would say, is if you make a purchase now, you more than likely, and I'm just speaking for the region, uh, is within a week to a month. And it really depends on the demand and availability of parts, which is getting more and more difficult as time goes on. Temperatures are expected to drop tomorrow. However, they're going to remain in the 80s. We have information on how to stay safe and cool on Fox13Seattle.com. Reporting in Tacoma, I'm AJ Janivel, Fox 13 News.